Hello everybody, um, this tutorial I'm gonna be, uh, showing you, um, a different way to load sprites into <clears throat> Allegro. Now, th the reason why I have to show you both ways is because most likely you're gonna encounter both ways. And it's up to you, it's up to you to choose which one you like best, but you have to know both. Because if you only know one, then you might get stuck with one. And if you only know the first one, then in all in most situations, it, the first one might not work. So the second one is better, but it requires more work. Well, it's better for me, but it requires more work, right? So basically, the second version is if you want a bunch of individual sprites. So normally, if the sprite sheet isn't organized, so this is a bad example. This spreadsheet is organized has everything in a set value like set spaces apart, right? But in some sprite sheets, everything is not a set number of spaces apart. Or some images, some are some images are wide and some in images are short. So let me see if I can get a different pic, um, a different sprite sheet to show you an example. So let me search through my selection. Um, let's see, I had a good one, but where did it go? Oh, just give me a second here. Yep, I think, yeah, it's this one. So if I open with paint. So now if I, this is Ganondorf as you know from Zelda, I think, yeah. So say I wanted to, to do the sprites for this attack right here, right? For his, his, I forget the attack name, right? So if I were to do it just like in the last tutorial, this is like a certain, like it's a certain width. But for this part of the attack, it, this width is way longer. Right, so you'd have to keep on constantly adjusting it. And although you could do that, you can make it work, it's too much work, right? You know what I mean? And then right here, if you want to get this image, you'd have to like somehow cut this off in your programming and stuff and it gets annoying. So this is where this this method works out. So if you get a spreadsheet like this, and you want to get them individual you would use your tool and paint your select tool and simply select around the area click control C to copy it open up another version of paint or whatever you're using and before you even start make sure your image attributes are a power of 2 see mine 68 by 64 Make sure the width and height are powers of 2. Like my height can be 32. It wouldn't matter because the power of 2. But make sure it is a power of 2. And you know why? Because the computer reads the power of 2 better than it reads any other um type. I don't know why. That's just how the computer is. So you see even how my image is much smaller than this size. I just made it this big just to be safe. So it doesn't matter, just make sure your image is at the top left corner and make sure the rest of it is magenta so blend in. So even though this is much longer than the actual character, right? When you draw it to the screen, it's only going to show this because the rest of it is magenta, right? So then once you're done that, you want to save it and you want to create a new folder. You want to create a new folder and save the image in that folder. And um, I already got a folder I named it Walk because I have an image from Walking. So now that you got that image, right? You don't want to click File New. Keep it like that. You know why? You'll see. Because when I take my next image, sometimes you're not going to take it exactly accurately, right? So you don't want your image 
bobbing up and down, up and down, up and down, right? So you want to match up the feet to be exactly the same. So it just takes a little bit of precision and a lot of a lot of work, but you trying to match up the feet so it doesn't look like the image is like moving up and down, up and down while you're playing a game, because that could be annoying, right? And then you would save that as Mario Walk 2, and then the next image Mario Walk 3, and so on and so forth. And at the end, nope, I don't want to say that. You should get a result like this. So you should have a folder for the different actions. So this action, he's walking. So I put walk. And I have the first six of him walking right. And the first and the next six walking um him walking left. And uh, that's all I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm actually going to be showing you how to code it and how to load the images and efficient ways to load them. So, hope this tutorial helped. And if I missed anything, I'll mention it in my next tutorial. So, thanks and bye.